Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is another um, small um, project share using some of the new um, dies and stamp from Scrap Vivid Designs for the September release. So these will all be available on September 1st on the website. So here is Erica's social media and here is the website. So you can go check it out. Okay, the first first thing I'm going to show you is um, this set here, which it does. I it didn't have a name on it, but it's the stamp um, set, and it also comes with dies. So cool! I love stamps that come with dies. Okay, so you get these two bigger ghosts. You get the two smaller ghosts. You get Boo, the spider web. This bat is a darling, and then this cute little um, solid color bat, and then you get these sentiments here so super cute and these are now um photopolymer um stamps so really good quality okay so and it comes with the dies too my packaging <laughs> ripped open so i had to put them in another bag to not lose them all so i wanted to show you real quick i was kind of just playing around i haven't really like made any projects or anything yet but <clears throat> just kind of wanted to show you how they stamp so this one these hope you can see this good I stamped with a, um, what's a holographic, um, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> embossing powder. So look how cute that comes out. I just wanted to show you how it stamps. Um, here I stamped some of the sentiments. I kind of just did a quick little, um, uh, reel on this one. So some of my stuff wasn't great, but I just wanted to show, you know, I just did the 90 seconds and that's how, how fast this all came out. No pausing or anything. So. Anyway, this is just showing you some of the um, of the other um, sentiments and stuff. This one, I used this really cool um, green neon embossing powder that I got last year at um, Hobby Lobby on clearance. So we got that. <clears throat> okay, then I stamped some out in this really pretty, I don't know what it's called, it's from Hero Arts. Um, it was in a... I used to get their car, um, oh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a monthly kit you used to get, and that was some stuff that came in it. So anyway, I used that color on here, so I just stamped all these on white with that pretty embossing powder. It's kind of a silvery color, really cute. So look how cute these are. So I cut these out with the, you know, with the um, dies that match, so cute. those and then I also stamped them out on white with this beautiful pink which let's see that is from Hero Arts also pink Prisma it says it came in a in a card kit <clears throat> so look at how cute these little things are Aren't those adorable? Now, if you know how to color with Copics or whatever, you can color these in. Okay, I didn't color any of these in. I just want, I just um, did it on solid, you know, papers. Here's the pink one. Uh, I mean, the bat on the black with pink embossing. Love that. Um, and then I just stamped a bunch out with not embossing. This is, was just um, some white um, Stampin' Up ink on black paper and then I use the dies to cut them out. So tons of different ways you can do this. Tons of different color combinations. You can you can um, heat emboss or not. Look how cute that comes out the solid bat. Isn't that cute? So just wanted to share those with you. No projects yet but I just want to show you how they stamped and you know just a couple ideas what you can do with them. So I'll do something more with them. Okay, and then next up, <clears throat> I have a mini ghost tag. So it looks like this. Love this. It is so adorable. So I made these two little ghosties. <laughs> so I cut my um, layering piece out of white glitter, and then I backed it on some really light um, gray. Just playing cardstock, and then I layered up the eyes and stuff 
Um, I put cute little tiny you know, bats, you know, like nail art stuff from Timu. And then that's the bow that comes with the set. And I just um, put that on my, my rib and I just sew it across under here so it's got the sewing underneath. And then I just put it through the hole before I mounted it on to this layering piece. Okay, so super adorable. You could stamp something, one of these stamps back here spooky wishes or something that would be so cute okay so super cute love it and the size of this one is let's see it is about two and uh, let's see like one two like two and almost almost three inches and then width it's about a two and a quarter so super cute okay perfect I love this one it's my one of my favorites okay and then next up I'm going to share with you this one I love this one also this one is called Halloween pocket tag so you get your pocket that folds over you also get um, a coffin piece so there's a coffin and let me show you take these out. So you have your die, your, you know, your fold out die. Okay. And then you have the word trick or treat. Okay. So there's just the word. This piece here has the shadow piece for it. And then this will cut out, um, cut out and a stitch around the like the hole right here okay and then it also comes with the coffin tag not cute and so it can layer on top of that one Isn't that gorgeous so cute so these aren't done but I just want to share with you guys how cute they look so here's the the pocket itself there's the trick-or-treat I use that on here layered up on on the white glitter um, Behind here, I have some of that webs, uh, like ribbon stuff. Here's what the what the um, coffin looks like. I did share with you that it comes with a spider, didn't I? Oh, it was stuck in there still. So here's the little spider. So I took him, and rather than cutting him out and adding him on, I put him on here and cut him out, and then that way the um, um, it's backed by the the first layer. So here's the one that I cut out. So, super cute. So this tag is about two and three quarters wide, and it is about four and a little over a quarter high. So cute, and this can fit down in there very easily, and you got your little um, place for your ribbon or whatever you want to tie it on with so a couple of those i thought this was so cute love it love it love it love it okay so that is my very quick project shares for today just going to give you an idea what these things look like so you know what you want to pick up um get ready for september 1st they'll be available on the website um, I had an unboxing video already. I will come back on that night and edit that unboxing video and add in all the links to all the dies for you guys. Okay. Um, website will be listed below. My discount code will be um, listed below also. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you with some more in a while. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.